Hey, and welcome to Trains Are Fun. We're going to be racing Oliver and Rosie, our two most recent Bachman trains. Oliver, you're trying to get off the track there. Um, and this one was actually suggested, even though I did it in the video where we got Rosie, we actually did have a race with Oliver and Rosie. We're going to run them around on this layout um, just for the fun of it. And some that had suggested this, even though we did do it in the video... <laughs> was Mickey the Rescue Engine 95. He actually suggested it on another video, Rosie versus Oliver. Bill SCC uh, recommended that. Epic Plays Games Daniel recommended it. And Max and Monty 15 and 16 recommended it. And Splendid Red Engine number 9. So those were some of the ones that wanted to see this. And I know some of you did too as well. But first, before we get to that... I need to announce the winner of, whoops, sorry about that, the winner of this copy of Bachman Oliver. I sent out the email late, actually it was early this morning, and I got a response early this morning. I was so thrilled. So Jose Miguel, that's his name, not his last name, that's his first two names. Jose Miguel from Mexico City, Mexico has won this. Bachman Oliver. And if you did not know about the giveaway, because we only had, even though I have 47,000 subscribers, we only had 98 different people enter. So that really increased the odds, but because of that giveaway, I just put in a video. And then, you know, the people that actually watched the whole video got to see the giveaway and enter. And I'm so glad for Jose, because he actually just got the HO scale Thomas and Friends set with Annie and Claire Bell. So now he will be able to run this on there. So I'm going to get this packed up. I'll probably be shipping it Wednesday because uh, I, I don't have time to pack everything up. <laughs> but it will be in the mail to Mexico uh, by Wednesday. So thank you to all that entered that giveaway. And thank you to Jose for your prompt response. We've actually had giveaways in the past where people didn't respond. So it's always nice when you win something that you actually claim it. All right, so let's look at here. Oh, you know what? Well, we'll do this, and then I got some ideas for things I'd like to give away next. Not, they won't be as nice as this. Where am I going to put this? I don't want to lose it because i got to mill it. I'll just set it right there for now. <laughs> actually, I don't like it there. I'm going to set it under the table. All right, if... if if later I can't find it, somebody say, it's under the table. <laughs> oh, you know, we got this uh, Black Lock Folly. I never placed it on the table. I might do that in a minute. Uh oh I knocked down the, uh, the Hornby Oliver. All right. <laughs> hey, Sin Killer is here. Hey, man. He's the one that got me started with the Ertl collection. I really want to thank him. So if you had not subscribed to Sin Killer J, take a while. Um, go check out his channel. Um, and that's why I even have Ertl is because of him. All right. And hey, Jody is here. She was in Robbie Blocks too. Y'all were just over there on the Brickzar live stream that I did. Tuxedo Prime 82, D Duck and Diesel Fan 88 is here. Chad Harvey, King Rig 27, Angel Pichet, I can't say it. Angel is here. Jackson Schwartz and the Ray Series, Steve O. Johnson, Jonathan. Franco Martin, Diesel Real Car Productions did make it over here. And Nathan Pratt, Train Boy 46 Productions. Thank you guys. So what we're going to, and gals, what we're going to do is, I'm going to run these. So what I have to do is turn the transformer off. This is how I normally do races. All right, so I got this on-off switch. That turns the power off. I usually just turn it full blast and then let them go. But you know what will happen if I do that right now. They will crash. So i got to make sure that the, what I'm going to do is move them one at a time. So I need to move one of them. Let's turn the power on. We're going to move Rosie up here. Stop her there. Then we're going to turn on the track that controls Oliver. Oh, oops, I need to turn off Rosie's track though. Oops. There we go. Alright. Just kind of get them at the same location there. Alright. Uh, some have asked how I do that. How do I control trains? Uh, that appear to be on the same track. Uh, everything's block wiring. I got these little switches here I throw. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, there's a bunch of wires under here. That's how I do it. Oh, it's a mess. I'm not the neatest wire upper. 
but that's how it's done is wires I do it with wires and I will that just happened here I don't know what happened hold on gotta go back under the table <laughs> And back around uh, I, I thought about doing a tutorial of how to do that but i probably do it over on briggs our toys because this is more for kids and kids might fall asleep uh me explaining how to wire something up all right let's uh do this first right i forgot who won when we did rosie and oliver before oliver has three cars rosie only has two but these are smaller that's why i put three so he's got toad and soda soda or salt and the ice cream car Ro rosie's got the two red coaches all right, so I'm gonna turn the power off, turn it up full speed. I gotta stay over here by the controller because I have to be able to stop them because I don't want them to crash over there. All right, are you ready? So what'll happen is that this is a twice around layout. I don't, um, so they'll go around twice and and then she'll end up here or he'll end up there first, whichever gets back to their starting location first wins. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set. Go! Oh, I messed up. Yeah, I was just explaining to y'all. Oh man, I do it every time. I do this some, even when I'm not doing a live stream. I do this, and I have to reshoot the videos and stuff. Uh, I forgot to turn the track on. So um, Rosie is on track one. So track one is up, which is a. Oliver was on no Rosie. Yeah. Oliver was on track one. Rosie's on track four. So now I got to turn track four on. So now when the, I turn it on, they'll both go. All right. I think that's everything. All right. Now for real. Don't worry about the people asking for shout outs. I don't really care because what happens is, and don't, don't block them because if you're a moderator, because nobody will see it. If I don't mention their name, and when people ask for shout out, if I don't mention it, then it's like when the live stream's over, the comments gone. So I don't, I don't worry about it. So don't don't worry about it. Lego freak, how come this channel is way more popular than Briggs are when you made it like three years ago? That's a good question. All right, maybe I don't know. I'm the same person, right? All right, are you Mark? I get hey if you're not subscribed to Brickzar, please go subscribe to Brickzar because he gets lonely over there sometimes on the live streams. Are you Mark? You get set. Go! Whoa, it went the wrong way. Oh, goodness. All right, Briggs are. I mean, trains are. I mean, who are you? I forget who I am. All right, we already had a crash. All right, I had him going the wrong direction. <laughs> so this is take three. Y'all are distracting me. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. All right. On your mark. Yeah, fail number two, Jackson Schwartz said. Slime says it. Slime 47. Fail two. Let's see if we can get it right this time, right? Okay. Henry Productions. Hey, man. All right. Jay Nye. Hashtag crashes. I like that one. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. For reals this time. All right, Mark. Get set. Go. There they go. Around. It appears Oliver is ahead, but the inside track is shorter than the outside track. Now he's going to be on the outside track. And Rosie is really probably going to lose. Yeah, she's definitely, probably, certainly going to lose. If they don't crash here. Nope, they didn't crash. Oliver got to his starting point first. Rosie's just now getting here. So Oliver is faster than Rosie. Now let's see how long they go before Oliver catches up to Rosie. So that's what will happen. If you let it go long enough, they'll either crash here, or the faster locomotive will catch up, which... Yeah, that's what's going to happen. He's going to catch Rosie. I love this Rosie, though. I don't care that she's not as fast as Oliver. Oliver is one of our faster Bachman locomotives, by the way. Just not as strong. I think Rosie could probably pull more because she's got a heavier wheel set or what base or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it. Crashing is fun. That's what Thomas said. Did I say that? Oh, I see what you're saying. The suspense is killing me. Will Oliver catch up to Rosie? Or will Rosie suddenly find a burst of speed and be able to escape? Dun, 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 That's royalty free music. Dun, 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 d
Do, 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 do. I, okay, I'm tired of that. That's Hollow the Mountain King, by the way. I'm trying to hum. And he's going to catch her. He's going to catch her. Oh, no. And then that's it. He caught her. All right. So, Oliver, yes, indeed. You are faster with uh, a few coaches. All right. All right. So, let me do something here. I was going to do this in another video. might do it in this video. All right. Hold on a minute. <laughs> BB, uh, B Bear F is here. Merlin and Murdoch fan. 1997 is here. Hey, Merlin and Murdoch fan. 1997. Check this out. Check this out. It says it's invisible, but I can see it. Isn't that neat? Ah, oh, another video, right? All right, I'm going to let them run around the track. I'll take Oliver, I'm going to take you off and let Rosie go along. Take Oliver off for now. Put you on a siding, Oliver. Hold on a minute, guys. I'll be right there. This is Brickzar. Hey, I'm Brickzar. Okay. Also known as Strangzar. So they are the same person, in case people were wondering that. Oh, it's getting shaky here. All right. Here we go. Diamond Productions, Switcher Studios. Thank you so much. He said the layout is so cool. Steve O. Johnson, Lego Freak. Does anybody here still watch Thomas? <laughs> well, Travarius Jackson. The two new characters are awesome. I agree. All right, let me run. Uh oh, Gordon, what are you doing? What just happened? I threw a switch by mistake. He was on track nine. Did y'all see that? What just happened? Gordon, just knocked your coaches off. I need to... Let me put you back on there. Yeah, we had another accident. Hold on, I want to show y'all something. I, I, was I actually did not plan for Gordon to come out like that. But it's fitting because I have something that I do want to do in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. Because, because in upcoming videos, we're going to be giving away Rosie. Gordon and Henry and keep in mind that the videos that these will be given away with in will not say giveaway in the video because the purpose of the giveaway is for viewers to win not random people who see the word giveaway in the title of the video so, and I'll try to not make it hard but again that's the Thomas Adventures Henry Thomas Adventures Gordon and the Thomas Adventures Rosie It'll be easy to figure out which videos those are in. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. And I'm really loving this new Rosie. I need to finish the layout. Oh, I need to open up Blacklock Folly. And maybe somebody can tell me where I need to put this. Yes, Rosie is awesome. That was said by... Oh, look! I'll see Brick Chicks over here on Trains Are Fun. Thank you for coming on. You know, we like to... I'm like a different person over here, even though I'm the same person. I cannot open this! 
It won't open. Hold on. Matt the, the Gamer Train is here. Far left. Put it on the far left. Right. This is a resin. Oh, oh, this is a resin statue. It's pretty heavy. So uh, heavy metal. That is appropriate because I do have the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure telephone booth. For those that know that reference. All right. So you say put it on the far left. Yeah, that's a big. That's not a big boy. It looks like a big boy. It's very similar to a big boy. But that is a Norfolk and Western mallet. Um, all right. It does look very similar to a big boy. It's got the same wheelbase. It's like four eight eight two or something. Um, all right, where do I need to put this? Does it need to go down there? Over there? I don't know where to put this. By the docks. I, oh! That's right, because it, it, it's... So, it, a lock, a lock is a lake. Is that correct? So, it would need to go by water. And I don't have water on this layout, so I have to put it on the edge of the layout, and we can pretend that water is off the edge of the layout. So, where would that be? You put it here? No, it's too close to the tracks. I got a dock over there. To the right of the A area. A area. Yeah, that's a... Everybody wants to see my Norfolk and Western. Oh, can't get it. I gotta take the camera off the tripod to see that. I need a lake. To the right of the camera. Lower left corner where the trees are. Alright, should I put it over here? No, it won't fit. I gotta move a tree or something. Oh, I'll figure it out. We'll set it on top of top of my, Matt Forte for now. Oh, all right, I'll put it there. Uh, so I, I think I do. I might need to clear out a tree over there to set it. Um, some good suggestions. Far left down. So I think that's everybody's been saying that. So it probably needs to go in that area over there. Hey, Pixel Pro 775 High Definition. Welcome, Christian Lippert is here, and I am doing well. The mallet is huge in person. I would love to see a real one. I've never seen a real mallet. But it's one of my favorite locomotives that I own. It's not a Thomas and Friends locomotive, but it's beautiful. It's a big locomotive. And it can take these 18-inch radius tracks. We've done a couple of videos with it. All right, so hi, Dinah. Hi, Mighty Bricks. Hi, Chad, Chad Harvey. And... What we're going to do is we're going to have to go. Donald Douglas Oliver 11 is here. Brandon Bricks is here. I'm going to have to go. i got to do another video. So um, I'm going to do the trifecta. I'm going to do live streams on my three main channels all on the same day. So if you're wondering, I'm going to be figuring out what's over here in the rest of those boxes. So be sure to subscribe to Trains Are Fun. Thank you to all you regulars out there, especially Lego Freak. And Diesel Rail Car Production, Aussie Brick Chicks, and Sing Killer Jay, who got me started into the Ertl collection. There's no Ertl on there, but uh, it's no worries. That was only Trapmaster track that just crashed over. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be opening some packages right there. I got some other things. We're getting ready to do an Annie and Clarabelle collection and a Troublesome Truck collection. So be sure to subscribe. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Mardi Gras man got here just in time to say goodbye. But everybody jump over to my other channel, Briggs Our Toys. And I'm going to unbox the rest of this junk over there. And we'll see you over there. So thank you and good night for now. But hello if you're going over to Briggs Our Toys. Bye.